Let's talk about Chris Brown oh, versus man. Quavo. What is the origin of this beef for those that don't know? Because I woke up to a Chris Brown, a Chris Brown Quavo <laughs> this track, and I had no idea why. Yo, so I, I I can't. I'm I'm I don't. I only know up to a certain point. So I know, uh, in reference to what Chris Brown said in Week Weakest Link, which they were both dating like Karuchi Tran, um, at one point. Um, but then like. Chris, Chris Brown said, like, yo, I was also, you know, like, I was sleeping with your ex while you were, and yo, it's so messy. That's so wild that we in the time where it's messy like this. Like, it's like love and hip hop, but this is what rap beef is apparently at this moment. Um, yo, though, like, Qu Quavo got pieced up. Quavo's getting pieced up A-Town down. I will say, like Quay, and and he's a rapper, and Chris Brown is a again singing when when they go low, I go breezy. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> the depths of hell, because that's what yo, I, I, I rest in peace to take off. But everybody wish everybody, you know, everybody wish it was you. That line right? was. Wild. R.I.P. Take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, that might be too low. I I, I don't That's know. That's hell. You in hell. Yeah, on scholarship. You going to hell on scholarship. You on scholarship. Like that. He he he, he said. Uh, so so Quavo mm -hmm. and, and and we know for sure Quavo and, and Chris Brown their beef is rooted in uh, the uh, romantic attachment to a young woman. Mm hmm. We know that for sure that this is about mm -hmm. the ladies. So, <laughs> oh my God, that was for you. That was a Martin. Right? I hated it. That, I look, hated it. Well, so, <laughs> so, oh man. So, so, so they come together mm -hmm. in this beef. Chris Brown decides to drop a track. I'm not sure what prompted the track now, but he drops yeah. the track. Overall, how do you rate Chris Brown's Quavo diss track? Yo, honestly, like, it's amongst the best diss tracks that I've heard, like, this quarter, like, in terms of all the rap. Not for R&B singer, you just mean in general. In general. In general. In general, I think I think it, he was direct. Like, and, and again, like, I think Chris Bryant, he's been rapping for years, too. Like, he's had rap mixtapes. Like, he's, he's not somebody, he's also tuned into battle rap. Um, so it didn't surprise me. I, yo, to be honest, mm -hmm. I, it, when I saw them going, like making like rap, like this is for each other. I didn't think that there was a world that Quavo would win. There's really? nothing, there's really? nothing, there's, because there's nothing lyrically that I've heard from Quavo that was like, don't get me wrong. Quavo got like bangers. He got verses. He has flow. He has energy. Like the ad libs got tear. Like we know this stuff. But lyrically, in terms of a battle, like that's not what they do, right? You're that's right. not what they do. But it's also not what R and B singers do. Chris, Chris Brown is blood. <laughs> <laughs> he's blood. He's, how is Chris Brown a blood? How he's Pyro. Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripping red. Don't let this R and B shit fool you, niggas. Get ripped to shreds. If we're talking about lyrically. I think Chris, this is wild. I think Chris Brown is a better rapper than Quavo. <laughs> Apparently he is from what I've heard so far. Nothing I've heard challenges that logic. Chris Brown is a good rapper. Uh, mm -hmm. Certainly solid. Nothing I heard on him didn't sound like he could be a professional rapper. You know, he's, right. he's, he's, a, he's, he's got the talent. He's a very talented young man. Mm -hmm. um, and he seemed to beat Quavo. That's not my concern. Yeah. My concern is that of all the beefs, ironically, it's the one with the R and B singer that has me the most worried about it becoming a oh, street, yes. oh, an yes. actual violent encounter. Like I'm worried yeah. about what does it mean for a, a, a blood to jump, get involved in this? What does it mean for the streets to get involved with this? What does it mean mm -hmm. for Quavo's crew to get involved with this? Because even in Chris Brown's commentary, we talked about you know how hard it was to restrain himself from breaking his face, you know. Like there's a way that like mm -hmm. you know I I don't I don't have any reason to believe that Chris Brown is a studio gangster, so mm. like he's just talking. So you know, for me, the question is, is seriously like, are, should we be worried about Chris Brown versus Quavo? Uh, well, I know in 
Well, look, I don't, I don't know. I, I remember uh, soldier, big soldier, and um, Chris Brown, both uh, Pyrus, they were having a beef, and um, some years ago, and it got peacefully resolved. Apparently, this okay. isn't the first time that Chris Brown and Migos have, uh, like, kind of sent shots or had beef. Like, he was Chris Brown and um, and Offset went at it like a few years ago. So, like, this is all stemming from that as well. It's not, like, kind of the first running. They, they, they've been not liking each other. Um, I don't know where it will take. Hopefully nothing crazy. But, like, I yo, Chris Chris Brown I will is unpredictable. Can we say that? Can we say that? He's... For, for, for sure. Rolando okay. says it's not because he's a blood. It's because he has a documented history of violent outbursts. This is I'm unpredictable. I agreed whole, wholeheartedly. It's not his bloodness that has me worried about the violence. His, you can't it's, say bloodness. It's his, it's his, it's his history of violence that has me worried. Yeah. But I'm saying mm -hmm. you have a history of violence, and you're invoking a gang mm -hmm. at the same time. You know, everybody got people. I'm just worried that it could get, it could get wild. Um, beyond everything said, apparently he was when he was young. Is where he comes from. So he's saying he was actually blood before he became famous. Okay, but he, de he definitely like one the set that he reps is in. Um, LA. Yes. You're right, and he's not from LA, right? Isn't he from like? He's from Virginia. From Virginia. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't know how he's repping Paru, but I, I, I don't Paru's know. everywhere. Not to say that there, he didn't join in Virginia, but I saw him publicly come out like in LA. He probated in. He probated <laughs> in my former life. I was an R and B singer named Chris Brown. Yo, probated is wild. Apparently, Soldier Boy is Pyro too. I said that, yeah, Soldier Boy. And that's is where I talk a lot. I just, I, I don't know <laughs> why. Because I can believe in Chris Brown's gangster bona fides. I don't trust Soldier Boy. Is. What? I'm not saying he's lying. This is what I think. Let me be clear. This isn't about Chris Brown. Actually, everything about Chris Brown makes me feel like he's he could be blooded down to the socks. I have, I'm not questioning Chris Brown's legitimacy. Mm -hmm. But when you get to Soldier Boy, I got it. Yeah, it stretches the boundaries of my credulity. Big Big Sosa Soldier. I'm just like I don't I don't see it, man. I think these guys, and based on the videos I've seen of Soldier Boy, what I what I see a lot of is these guys getting getting get impressed. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like okay, you could be one of us, but you gonna you gonna you gonna pay us. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like Soldier Boy is one of the people that's getting extorted. And Maybe he's a lifetime member. I, I think he got forced into giving that lifetime. <laughs> <membership>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying how 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 they arrived at that negotiation is where I raised the question. Yeah, but, but let me ask you: Does does, does Quavo respond? Is she, will there be a Quavo response to this? I mean, I, 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 do we need one? Do we need one? I, but that, but that's my concern, right? There's only two things you can do. You either respond or don't respond. And if you don't respond, does that mean you do something off wax that's even worse? I don't think so, bro. Like, I, I, yo, these are at the end of the day, these are artists. Not to, yo, Chris Brown is yo. His whole legacy is tarnished. Like, let's keep it a bug. If Quavo pop up injured or something like that, like at the hands of Chris, not to say that Chris Brown hasn't done that to artists before. Frank Ocean. Um, I think if Quavo turns up missing because Quavo is seen as a legitimate foe, not somebody who's seen as weaker or smaller, you know, I think turn up missing, give him street cred for that. Chris Brown, yeah, he's already Pyro. How much more? I don't mean real street cred. I mean like in the mu oh. in the among hip hop fans. I'm saying if if he battles Qu Quavo, Quavo doesn't respond, you know, tries to ch see him on the street, and then and Chris Brown gets the better of him. I'm just saying, I I think Chris Brown. Oh, it adds to his, his the, the kind of aura and, and lure of him. Um, because I think we have a tendency to romanticize violence, you know. Again, I don't, oh, want, yeah, we're America, this is America, right? I don't want to see violence, I don't want Chris Brown and Quavo battling. I want those two men to be healthy and safe and okay. And I just don't know how to get there, I don't know how they get there. I, I, I don't know how you get there either, especially when you're. Chris Brown and Quavo, and you exist in a very, it's not, I mean, we think about hip hop, like not that there isn't positivity and everything, but the whole points of battles is to see somebody defeated. Ultimately it's lyrical violence. Okay. So like, 
yeah, th this is this is just a microcosm of what it could be. Hopefully, it doesn't spill out to that. But like, if Quavo doesn't put out a, another disc record, I'll be I will sleep at night. I'm okay. I'm fine. I know too much about this already. Like, I'm good to be honest. I I, I feel that. Well, look, that's mm -hmm. what it's gonna be. We'll keep it, we'll keep track of it. My prediction is Quavo doesn't respond, and my fear is that it's gonna happen off of wax. And I'm just praying that everybody's safe, everybody's healthy, and you know. Back in the day, you know, when the Nation of Islam intervened, it was to stop Common and, and Ice Cube. Yeah. Um, um, and right now, it, it, if they intervene, it's going to be to stop the R&B singer. You know, there's, um, a, there's a lot of there's a lot of and Drake, a pop singer too, Drake, like and a pop singer and Drake, right? I mean, <laughs> but, but but I don't I don't think we need to intervene with Drake and Kendrick. I think we need to intervene on Chris Brown and Quavo, and I'd be happy to play a role in that. You know, if, if the brothers ever need me to intervene and I've I've intervened on other rap beefs and off, off the record and spoke to brothers and calmed them down and never mentioned it in public because it's not about that. Mm. It's about stopping us from killing each other. Um, and that's what we need. So that's how do we how do you think what's the approach to getting a balance of still like, hey, we heavily competitive, but. It, it, part of it depends on where it's coming from. If you're, if you're just battling for lyrical supremacy, I don't think it's tough to to keep it in the right space. I don't I think, think people doing that anymore though. And that's the problem. So, yeah. you know, the fact that these guys are actually beefing, like like Chris Brown and Quavo actually don't like each other. That's a yeah. problem. Mm -hmm. I don't want us killing each other. We need to make music and make art that doesn't reflect around our death. It doesn't celebrate death, doesn't promote death. Mm -hmm. It doesn't to, to literal death. I don't want any connection to any of that kind of music. So.